Hey, we're back again with the book of Better Sheep, the book of Genesis. And at the end of chapter 10, it says, uh, These were the clans of the sons of Noah according to their generations and their nations. And from these, the nations were divided on the earth after the flood. And it came to be, all the earth had one language and one speech. And it came to be, as they departed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they dwelt there. And they said to each other, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the Shamayim, and a name for ourselves, lest we, bo lest we be scattered over all the face of the earth. Then Yahuwah came down to see the city and the tower which, was, which the sons of man had built, or men had built. And Yahuwah said, Look, they are one people, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. And now, they are not going to be withheld from doing whatever they plan to do. Come, let us go there and confuse their language so that they do not understand one another's speech. And Yahuwah scattered them from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. That is why his name was called Babel, because there Yahuwah confused their language of all the earth. Confused the language of all the earth, and from there Yahuwah scattered them all, I mean scattered them over the face of the earth, face of all the earth. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was 100 years old when he, and brought forth Arkpakshad. Two years after the flood, and after he brought forth Ar Pakshad, Shem lived five hundred years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Ar Pakshad lived thirty five years and brought forth Sila. And after he brought forth Sila, Ar Pakshad lived four hundred and three years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Selah lived thirty years, and brought forth Eber. And after he brought forth Eber, Selah, or Shelah, lived four hundred and three years, and brought forth sons and daughters. And Eber lived thirty-four years, and brought forth Peleg. And after he brought forth Peleg, Eber lived four hundred and thirty years, and brought forth sons and daughters. And Peleg lived thirty years, and brought forth Reu. And after he brought forth Ryu, Peleg lived 209 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Ryu lived 32 years and brought forth Sirug. And after he brought forth Sirug, Ryu lived 207 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Sirug lived 30 years and brought forth Nahor. And after he brought forth Nahor, Sirug lived 200 years and brought forth sons and daughters, and Nahor lived 29 years and brought forth Tira. And after he brought forth Tira, Nahor lived 119 years and brought forth sons and daughters, and Tira lived 70 years and brought forth Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And this is the genealogy of Tira. Tira brought forth Abram. Nahor and Haran. And Haran brought forth Lot. And Haran died before his father, Terah, in the land of his birth. And Ur Kassadim, and Abram, and Nor took wives. Nahor. And the names of Abram's wife was Sarah. And the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah. The daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, the father of Yishka, and Sarah was barren. She had no child, and Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarah. His son, Abram's wife, and they went out with them from ur -Kassidim. To the land of Canaan. And they came to Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah came to be 205 years, and Terah died in Haran.
Hey, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,